a reviewer, you don't know anything beyond the video you're seeing, the tags below it, and any information that the user gave you. And sometimes a video won't be flagged till a couple of years after it was uploaded, right? Or sometimes a video will be immediately uh, talked about so much that, that it's being flagged and, and it's in everyone's mind. Going back to 2009, the summer of 2009, um, in June, when we saw a flood of videos coming in uh, from Iran, and uh, this was the context. Uh, news organizations had been kicked out. Uh, news organizations were setting up social media desks to look at the material that they were finding online um, and assess it. This young woman's name is Netta. She went into cardiac arrest and died during the 40 seconds of this video. And the question is, is it a violation of Netta's privacy to leave this video up? on YouTube, um, and the, let's start there. Let me just point out a couple of things. Mm -hmm. that you, you, have a, you have a title which is um, very straightforward. It's not, um, it's not alarmist in any way. It, it, it's providing, a, a, you know, documenting a, a statement about the video. There, there was also extensive text underneath this particular video um, describing uh, what happened. So. A video with absolutely nothing showing someone dying. We have policies against graphic violence, shocking content, all of this. With this additional context, does, does, that, does that change your mind? I, I think I have seen this video, though, or something like it on the news. So I wonder, you know, from the angle of this, you know, how does the news affect what goes on YouTube, too? Do you, go, do you look at content that's posted on CNN or other, <coughs> you know, um, broadcast news stations and look at, you know, that compared to the content on YouTube, and does that have any impact on your policies too. Right, I, I think that's a really, uh, again, going back to the, uh, we have guidelines and shouldn't we take this down? If this same video was shown, say we had taken it down, and then CNN did a news report that was exactly the same video with eight words of introduction, Wolf Blitzer saying, um, now we're gonna show you the dis disturbing video from Iran, and then played it, would that change it? And if so, should that just be Wolf Blitzer at CNN? Yeah. Who, who is the news? Who, who is allowed? This person who shot this video, are they not just as important a news documentarian as an established uh, news network? So while we have policies on graphic content, on uh, graphic violence, shocking, disgusting, and I can tell you right now that if that same video, which was, what was it called, you know, a full, a full introduction of what the video was and what happened, if the title of this was Everything else was the same, but the title was, wow, watch a girl die, exclamation point, ex it down immediately. Yeah. We, we're looking at the intent. What was the intent of this video? And that's why we've done, we recently did a blog post about context, asking our users to tell us more, so to help us out. Um, that's why a video which shows a, a, a bloody body being beaten um, with no additional context would be brought down immediately when we know that that is a human rights activist and this is the only information that he has to document what happened to him it's different and our user will see it differently what we did with this video is apply our what we call educational scientific documentary artistic policy sorry that's a mouthful but essentially nudity comes down from YouTube artistic nudity is a whole different case um, same with this. The documentary value of this video is so clear. It was basically the turning point in this news story. Um, it would be very difficult to take this down.